According to royal expert Kinsey Schofield, word on the street is that Harry and Meghan aren't invited anywhere because all eyes would be on them and it would distract people from the cause or the event. Indeed, Harry and Meghan weren't invited to Denise Richards' birthday party. Taken to Instagram on Thursday, the actress and real housewives of Beverly Hills alum, Denise, revealed that her husband took her on vacation to a serene-looking cottage at the San Ysidro Ranch in Montecito, California, the same tranquil upscale town where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle now live with the kids Archie and Lilibet. Meanwhile, according to Heat World, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle thought that it was a really big deal for them to have been invited to Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi's renewal of vows ceremony. A source claimed that the Sussexes don't want to miss out on exciting collaborations and options they might have in Hollywood. The only question is how far Meghan and Harry would be willing to go. It's about boosting their brand, the magazine's source said. TV presenter Nick Eade claimed that Harry and Meghan Markle believed they'd be number one in Hollywood after their relocation to the United States. They find themselves low on the Hollywood pecking order after allegedly expecting themselves to be firmly planted at the top of the pile. Eda since said the suit star Meghan along with husband Harry had underestimated their move to America as they presumed they'd be Hollywood royalty. Meanwhile, the winner of the reality show I Wanna Marry Harry said she thinks it's ironic that Prince Harry chose Meghan Markle to be his wife almost a decade after the show's critics told her she had no chance with him because he'd never date a nobody actress. I Wanna Marry Harry was a Fox reality show that aired for one season in May 2014 and it followed 12 American women who believed they were competing for a chance for a date with Prince Harry. Instead, however, it was a lookalike named Matthew Hicks. After winning the series, Kimberly Birch, an aspiring actress living in New York City, faced a slew of nasty comments from viewers who told her the royal would never actually be interested in her since she wasn't British or famous enough. Now, nine years after appearing in the I Wanna Marry Harry, she's reflected on a win in a new interview with Insider, she said she finally feels vindicated, knowing he went on to marry an American B-list actress like Meghan Markle. At the time, it was just something that seemed so far-fetched for people, she explained. There were a lot of comments like, did you really think that Prince Harry would ever actually date some nobody actress in America? Then I remember hearing about the backlash that Meghan Markle got. She was just this B-list American actress. She was a nobody and now she's married to Prince Harry. For me, it's just so ironic. It was life imitating art. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle first settled in California, rumours soared that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex chose their mansion's location for a single reason, and that concerns its proximity to Hollywood. Because the entertainment city requires only a two-hour drive, Meghan and Harry reportedly thought their mansion's location would give them opportunities to spend time with Hollywood's A-list. However, Hollywood didn't exactly rush to plead with the Duchess and Duke of Sussex to make Mega Million deals. And while Harry struck gold with his bombshell-filled memoir Spare, Meghan reportedly wants something more for herself. An Instagram may just offer the path to fame and fortune that Meghan Markle reportedly craves. A clue occurred when Markle shared her plans in an interview to make an Instagram comeback, and a new at Meghan handle showed up on social media.